Hello, hello. A few days ago, we had the season finals where I was participating and playing. But uh, sadly, I got eliminated in round two before the matches got streamed. And so I'm going to show some of them um, of the earlier rounds uh, because they were really cool and I think should be shown. Um, this one is from round one. Um, me on high elves here, um, probably my least played elf faction, um, against Bob the Builder on the coast, uh, a scary coast opponent. Um, and yeah, my high elf army consists of a rather shooting heavy core um, of two archers with light armor since I had the spare fans, um, two shadow warriors to kite down the uh, shooting pieces like um, shotguns, uh, bomber mobs and such things um, since you don't want to go into a direct shootout with them. And yeah, the stalk to not be obliterated by artillery or the real long range shooting from the coast while doing so. Um, two Illyrian Reavers here to grab the points on the site early. Um, a bit contested here by dogs, but I'm, I've am i seen them and I'm really not worried about them. Uh, I think if the Reaver Archers just charge them head on, they actually win that uh, pretty decisively. Um, the rest for my side is Spears and Silveren Guards and two Nobles on foot. They have really high melee defense and a really high anti-large and I thought I could really well use them against the number of monstrous infantry units that Coast currently likes to deploy, all from Lampreys Revenge, Rotting Prometheans, um, Hulks and uh, most of all Mongols. Um, but yeah, we'll see how well that works out. And then I have an Archmage of Light here. Um, you will see that this is a really big mistake, even though it's not super bad per se. Um, yeah, uh, I wanted the Shams Burning Gaze to poke down um, things like deck gunners or artillery pieces because it's rather good against them. Um, one hits models if you overcast it and yeah, and the net, yeah, you can bring along because why not? Um, the coast side uh, here has a really tight formation and this is a point where I already regretted not having a burning hat and it will get worse, you will see it. Uh, we have a core of that just says any flyers can go and F themselves. Um, <laughs> you're not landing flyers in here. Um, two mortars on the front, funnily, um, then yeah, the usual meat shield and secured to all sides with all 10 deckhand mobs. So a really heavy shooting box and Silustra here in uh, the forest waiting to not be sniped by something early on with Tight Call and the Nelsons of the Deep. Tight Call is a really good spell against low armored uh, units as elves are and uh, the Ghost Summon of course. And the Song of Enthrallment is also a really good thing. This is part of why she is so incredibly tanky actually um, despite not having the stats for that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you see them, you see me trying to kill her at several occasions, we but not really working point. it out. Keep and it from the foe. Um, yeah, I'm also here. This is the first thing, also, why I wanted the uh, um, Flaming Sword of Rune just to get magic attacks. You see here the effect of one overcast a gem's burning gaze. And um, as the spell isn't super expensive, I can get another one in rather quickly again. 
Um, and yeah, you see the Shade Race Gunners rather decimated. So this was a nice win for me. Um, here I managed to get Shadow Warriors in range to directly shoot at the Mortars. I'm not sure if it was the best decision because I opened them up for quite a bit of counterfire and actually here yeah, the moment the zombies make contact the, the, the zombies can't really deal super well with 34 melee defense that those have as long as they have the march of prowess. Um, here we already get the damned knights errant and as you can see I'm not really prepared for them right now. Um, I didn't see Salostra coming from the forest here um, and I am myself distracted with trying to get those shade races with the discouraged debuff really off the field. Um, getting the mortars in process, they are also mostly gone, though I've taken a lot of damage on my Archmage. Here I managed to get my nobles um, into the gunnery handgun mobs. Um, really good here, compromise, but if you put them in guard mode and give them a firing command, you can get them to shoot, and this concave of three units shooting it absolutely deleted my Reaver Archers. Um, uh, though I am getting into the units here now and getting them down, and here the Shade Racers, I thought I could take them down, but if there's only so few models, precision actually is a big problem and the skirmish calf never is the most precise things. Um, here the Dark Knights are around 600 value and rising, so they disappear in a second, but this this was a huge L and completely cleared my backfield. You see all my archers, they will come back, um, but they got terrifying damage into them. Here a noble makes contacts with the uh, Mongols, but the Mongols are also an anti-infantry unit, and yeah, the damage on him is mostly from some shooting, but you will see that he doesn't really do enough to get through the Mongols regeneration. And yeah, uh, at this point, you can see I got most of the opponent's important tools, but some are still here. Here we have still some handguns, and one mortar is still alive. And I sacrificed so many mobility units to get them, that I'm completely on a really thin front here. I have my spear units, but spears don't really kill things, and some rangers, and yeah. This here is a moment where I really wanted to have fire magic because, uh, yeah, sirens. Um, I I was thinking, oh, this was a bit of a dud of the um, light spell there. Um, I was thinking about bringing fire magic uh, and it, it's, it's a consideration because uh, often there are nowadays really melee heavy coast build with a lot of monstrous infantry that is the actually um, actually uh, value targets and monstrous infantry doesn't really suffer from um, uh, or from burning hat so hmm. uh, here the noble goes down to the mongols the thing he was supposed to destroy. I, I guess he got some damage into them, but didn't even kill a model, and yeah, uh, not not the best choice here, and yeah. The Sirens with some firing support and the charges I gave them actually go down to the Rangers here. Uh, rangers, their physical resistance is also negated by the magic attacks, so not the best match up, but at least it's an anti-infantry fighter. So, um, they get their uh, extra bonus there. And my mid here is slowly going down. I don't really have anything to kill the monstrous infantry since the noble gambit didn't really work out. Spearmen, yeah, hold things, but again, they don't really kill things. Um, but 
I am heavily ahead on points, and Coast is only right now managing to get this. Uh, here's the micro getting caught by dogs. Um, I get more silver in the mid to fortify it and clear this point here from some deckhands chilling around. Uh, it, it's a waste of ammunition, kinda, but eh, can't do much about it here. Um, Mongols getting into my rangers and Rangers really don't like more words. That's that's a super problematic unit for them. Uh, yeah, here yeah, I'm getting some war lions, and I thought they sh they should be good against all the dogs that are floating around here, or uh, getting some zombie uh, those gunnery mobs. They shouldn't duel it out with the um, halberds and. I'm not sure how they would fare against more goods, probably really badly. Um, did someone drop orders here? I thought, yeah, should try to take down Silustra, but um, actually her spell right now ends. And yeah, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that they do so little here, move some f uh, for the full surround on her. My Archmage just hanging out in the back somewhere where he can't be shot. Um, a bit maneuvering to get some side shots with the Shams Burning Gaze. I, I don't dare any longer to use the overcast in case the explosion kills him. Yeah, here yeah, I noticed that the Warlands don't really do damage to Silastra for some reason. And um, then, yeah, gave them new targets. Bit of an L there. Uh, a bit of contest here, but uh, finally the mid has fallen. There's some Silverin still standing on it, but uh, of course the single unit of Silverin can't contest the capture weight. And you see here an endless stream of units coming on for the points now. And um, I was pretty sure that I would not be holding this when all the stuff here collapses and especially the sirens with the physical resistance. So I picked all my mobility and rotated over here, um, trying to get this point back. Um, there is some deckhands coming over, but a single unit of those is not a problem. And yeah, under its well, not really leadership, but sustain gives them quite a while until I manage to clear this point. And they have full capture weight all the while while crumbling. Silostra, actually only 900 um, value. I expected more. Did he bring the passive? He didn't bring the coast passive. Uh, I think that's a mistake. Uh, the spell was good. It makes does like a hundred damage to every unit on the field and every multi-entity unit on the field and that adds up yeah i'm taking the point here right when i lost the other side so and have some blocking units here to get them to stay away but geez coast has so many cheap units, they take ages to get there, so uh, that's, that's, that's not something unfair uh, in any case. Um, you, you need to plan ahead so long with them, and they are so bad at pushing through things or clearing things that, yeah, you can kind of neglect them, but only if you have enough units to block them and fight them. So, yeah. Uh, on the other side, I was then noticing that there's only two guns and like two deckhands left here. Everything else pedals over to try to get to this point or uh, make sure I don't take the mid. So I'm planning to again use my mobility to get onto One this side and get destroyed. out those guns here and take the point, the noble here into the corner, oh, I wanted to put him in the corner but those guns turned around and they would delete him instantly so I uh, can't do that. Um, here a really stack up of units, damn I wish I would have had burning head right now, yeah. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's becoming obvious that I won't be holding this point, so I try to get my units to get out of here and be able to rotate, um, sacrificing one of them to hold things up and actually botching the movement on the Illyrian river archers here and get them full stuck into Halberts. Um, yeah, th th that wasn't great, but um, yeah, I'm going for the side again. Uh, a dog's coming in here. Mm. And I don't have infantry units right now that I could very well be summoning. I have a ranger back up. The others are still in the waiting loop uh, or currently in the process of routing out the field. So they will probably not be seen again. Um, another Shem's burning gaze and with that only unit of dogs is on the field on this point not on the field on the field would be nice <laughs> um but i am still on the point where i can win on a single cap if i get this quickly in the next uh minute or so so yeah um a bit over rotated here um, could have been a bit more patient um, with not moving everything away from here while taking the site um, and more playing for the slow overwhelm. Um, but uh, yeah, um, the numbers are still hard against me and a lot of my stuff is those archer cavalry which are okay against units like dogs or something but can completely just do nothing about deckhands. Uh, they, they can shoot them, right? Yeah, but that the takes like 10 minutes to kill them, which I don't have. And uh, the point is taken in time, uh, just in time actually. Um, if he managed to go over 1000, he would be able to win on a single cap. And at this point I was almost a bit confident. I had a lot of units here. Um, that my lord goes down is is a big problem, though. Um, if uh, if there's terror beasts like, like yeah here yeah, like Silostra, it's not a beast but a terror unit. On you really don't want a lord death penalty because then everything just routes off instantly. Uh, the war lions again failing to attack her properly for some reason. I mean, it's uh, slow again, but they also didn't really try. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, my, my Lord rallied there. Uh, I didn't completely remember that. Um, but Lord Death would here be just game over. Um, as it is now, uh, I would have had this chance, or I have still a chance. Um, here, everything routes right now. You notice fears on everything, and there's terror units coming in from all sides, so uh, my units route way earlier. And uh, I'm, I don't have a lot of infantry here, two units, and he gets so much stuff over here with all the full capture rate, mind you. Um, the guns from the forest clear up my cavalry, and dogs coming in for my shadow warriors not a good thing this is only blocking a bit stalling for time but i still have two minutes that i hold have to hold and the capture rate is already falling failing so um i wasn't sure if i can hold this still um but i kind of uh with another infantry unit uh, actually two other infantry units, but he sees spearmen routing with terror routing with 80% um, or 75% health. Th that's not terrible, they come back, but during the terror out time they One of for once don't destroyed. apply capture weight and secondly they get a lot of damage if something like hounds of, uh, attack them in the back. So I'm losing rapidly capture weight here. Like, really rapidly um so i kind of figured this is not working and my last attempt to try and 
maintain the lead was going for uh, the mid again, rotating over. He can't very well move his units away since I still have quite a lot of infantry here, which if he moves everything away can capture this point quickly again. Um, yeah, uh, the time is approaching quickly. Um, actually, I think, yeah, I have to take this before 1400. He reaches 1400, so I, I failed that again already. Um, I'll be taking this point, but I am overtaken now um, by the fast triple cap uh, point generation. And in the end, this is really merciless. Uh, you can't you lose a point for more than a few seconds. Uh, and this took too long. So, yeah, both bars on the top almost maxed out. And and uh, the high elves taking the loss and <laughs> i'm really you regretting <laughs> not taking fire there magic here defeat. like a lot <laughs> and also those nobles were definitely not a good pick they, they cost like 600 or 650 so it's not super expensive but you see their value they they are dualists and I didn't use them like dual lists, so bad from my side. Um, the archers also, like, okay, you don't get a lot of value shooting at zombies often, but you still have to take out their value pieces, like the guns uh, or the martyrs, which did okay. Those got a lot of magic into the face, so uh, not unexpected, and all of them baited a lot of my mobility, so. Um, they enabled other units to get value. Uh, the Sirene's value actually wasn't so high, but for Terra units, you always need to remember your opponent unit routes at like 50%, uh, even if it's high leadership units. Um, yeah, maybe not 50%. Depends on how rapidly they get damage in um, and how many other units are routing, but um, yeah, you need to add a big chunk on there for the Terra um, to the effective value, what they did. Um, the value of the caster wasn't actually bad. Took out the Shade phrases basically on their own and then poked some uh, Shams Burning Gaith into, yeah, mediocre value units, but Shadow Warriors also not super value since they got summoned twice, both. Um, still, I think they bear a worthwhile investment, um, just in case. Um, the War Lions, I think, also summoned twice, definitely not making up and I don't know how often they all got summoned. Must have been quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I think I've shown everything interesting. And then yeah, we'll be recording one more today and upload it later. See you then.